talked about the U value and how it is the main characteristic uh, as far as these regulations are concerned. But we also know there is another important parameter, namely the solar heat gain coefficient. And I understand this is now kind of going beyond the original scope of the stock. So it's not strictly talking about the, you know, labeling uh, requirements. But from a design perspective, can you comment on uh, the importance of the solar heat gain coefficient? And I guess a more practical question is, uh, let's say I'm an energy modeler and I uh, know that there are many energy advisors on the call. So if I'm an energy modeler and I'm working with my design team to come up with the, I guess, the right combination or the desirable combination of U value and solar heat gain coefficients. Uh, can you just provide some general guidelines as to first what things to consider? Is it reasonable uh, to assume the same solar heat gain coefficient for all uh, all facades for north facing, west facing, south facing? And then also, is it realistic to assume any combination of U value and solar heat gain coefficient, for example, U value of 1.4 and then a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.4, only to satisfy the modeling or the uh, modeling outcomes that are uh, desirable or required? This is a very good question and a very important question. Um, there's several aspects to it. Um, I'll, I'll tackle the last item first. You can't, as, as a specifier, and so if the energy modeler is making, and together with the builder, are making a decision, okay, we're going to use windows with this U value, this solar heat gain coefficient, you can't just choose any numbers you want because those products may not exist. So you have to understand that the more low E coatings you have in a piece of glass to lower the U value, you are reducing the solar heat gain coefficient as well. So, uh, you know, the, the lowest U value coating that you have is going to have a lower solar heat gain coefficient than a higher U value uh, low E coating. So, so typically, uh, you know, like a double glazed window with a high solar coating gives you lots of solar heat gain, but it doesn't have the lower U value. As you start ask, looking for a product with lower U value, the, the available solar heat gains are lower. So you have to work with the manufacturer, look at manufacturer's literature or, or information they can provide you, what's available? Because you might want a window with a U factor of, of you know, 1. Uh, you know, 1.4, for example. Uh, and you you may not be able to get that with a solar heat gain of of as high as 040 percent or 0.40. You you might be limited to 0.32 or 0.28. Uh, and the solar heat gain coefficient is evaluated at the standard size of the window. So even if you have the same glass, uh, a fixed window is evaluated at a larger size, operable window at a smaller size, and the operable window also has more frame and less glass. So you can take uh, three different product types, a fixed window, a casement window, and a sliding window, all with the same glass from the same company, and each one will have a different solar heat gain characteristic, even with the same glass. And the U values will also be different slightly because you're evaluating the products at different sizes. So it's very easy when you're doing an energy model to say, okay, if every window has this U value and this solar heat gain coefficient, this works. But the reality is you're not going to find a whole product line of products at different sizes that are going to have those exact numbers. So, um, so this is something that, that the energy advisors need, need to realize. Secondly, uh, I think there's a tendency for people to look at solar heat gain as cheap heat, free heat. Man, if I can just maximize the solar heat gain, I'm going to make this model work. But you have to be aware that there are comfort implications with that. The uh, when you have windows facing south, you know, and if you if most of the windows are facing south, and you say, "Great, I'm getting all the solar heat gain," uh, you may have a home that is going to be highly unpleasant to live in, because much of the year you're going to be way too hot in that home, and the more highly insulated the home becomes. As, we, as we're going with more highly insulated enclosures under the step code, the solar heat gain, uh, you, you need less and less solar heat gain to, to be comfortable in that home. You start having a high solar heat gain window and, and the people will be unhappy living there. They're gonna be too hot. They're gonna be 
uh, if they have a you know heat pump, they'll be putting it in cooling mode, or they'll want to get an air conditioner. They will not be happy. So, uh, solar heat gain can be beneficial, but too much solar heat gain is a real problem. And uh, and the problem of asking for solar heat gain that is simply not available because it's constrained by U value or the size of the product that's a real problem. Um, and and the, by just that's basically the specifiers choosing the products are not sufficiently informed. You have to look at what specific manufacturers can give you what's available in terms of solar heat gain for the U values you want, and then you have to work with those numbers. The other important thing is that it's important when you're using Hot 2000, uh, you you can't use the legacy options to do this kind of modeling. You have to use the option that allows you to put in the CSA or NFRC U factor and the frame height, and then let the program calculate the actual uh, characteristics of the window. Uh, I don't know why they still allow the legacy inputs to exist in Hot 2000 because they're not appropriate for use in building energy modeling for things like the step code. Um, so, so you can't get any combination of solar heat gain and U value that you want. Uh, solar heat gain uh, is often undesirable, and the window manufacturers will tell you some of them are very frustrated when they're being asked to supply windows that they know the homeowner will not be happy with because they because they know from experience that will lead to overheating discomfort. And you're putting the window manufacturer into a difficult place, you know, to, to get your order. You, they, they have to, you're asking them to supply a window that's going to leave them with a customer that will be complaining afterwards. So uh, you really need to work with your window suppliers and discuss these questions so that you make better choices with respect to uh, solar heat gain and new value.